Hi, hello, hello listeners. How are you? I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about a new feature I just uh, worked on like, in that phone pay app. Uh, the feature is called Tats. Uh, uh, without get delay, uh, let's get started. Uh, uh, my cover picture uh, represents the before UI of the phone pay. Uh, then after what I did, even uh, what are the components I just used in the stats feature. Below, if you don't know about the phone pay app, uh, the UPA transaction uh, uh, phone recharge, then all the policies, all the uh, transaction, we can make it using a uh, phone pay app. Like short notes about me, Arun Kumar, uh, self thought UI UX designer. More than one and a half year, I worked in uh, UI UX field. Uh, currently, I'm working as a business analyst. Like in this case, study i will focus on transaction history screen we just made a new feature called stats for every user this is the same process used to see their transaction uh, histories on full data what they made in that uh, phone pay app uh, we need to click that history option then there is filter chips Using that filter chips, we can filter months and at a device we can see. Then select the checkbox and apply means we can see the particular uh, filter thing. Firstly, we will understand the problem space. Over 100 million transactions in a single day happening in phone pay app. But the thing is like category wise transaction history, we can't able to see in that phone pay app. That is major drawback. What I, what I did is like I, most of the people who are using phone pay app, I just interviewed them. What they told is like they even they know don't know how much they transaction for the particular category. That is the main intention design. The problem statements are like 100 plus transaction histories are showing in the transaction page. Endless scroll, poor filter experience. That is the three main problem in the uh, history section. History is the first place on the phone pay platform where most budgeting users land to check their spendings. Uh, after doing all the transaction, they they can see how much they spend or for whom they send. All the things we can see in the history. Our uh, design process and challenges what I faced while designing this feature. Now, firstly, through through state features, each component has go through multiple iterations and like how can we make this stats feature more user friendly as well as more initiative manner so the user can enjoyable and the information should be reached every person without doing much effort these are the iterations i made first thing is filter system this is the current old ui of the phone pair came from home to history all the histories we made all the thing is listed out then there is two chips one is download statement another one is filter thing if i click the filter thing uh, we can see month wise filter category wise filter state status we can see the then payment type we can see whatever thing we can just filter and apply and we can see all the things but what i did is like in just add one extra chips in history itself that's called stats if i click that user click the stats we can land it in the screen using the stats i can see day wise week wise month wise even year wise we can see how much I transaction did in this particular uh, thing. For example, I'm in the month August 2024. It's obviously visible in the top. Uh, we can clicking by this arrow, we can change the month wise. In this August month, I just totally did thousand rupees payment using phone pay app. Below, if you screen below the chart, I can see how much spend for a particular category. For example, in the thousand out of thousand, I spent 580 rupees for petrol. For shopping, I spent 290 rupees. For tea shop, I spent 130 rupees. By this way, as a user, I can see how oh, this month I spent for a particular category or this much money. Even if I click that drop down, I can see breakdown of the payment for a particular petrol bank. I just spent this much money on that which date. Even do I, I can see all the things you can see, uh, refer to this screen. I just attached it here. For example, HP Petrol Bank Kanchi, I just spent 280 rupees on 14th of August, October 2024. If I need to do, if I need to know about the particular day, how much I spent, just by clicking this calendar icon, bottom sheet will come. I can scroll and i can select whatever day i need we can um, see the step by step screen i did what i did for uh, this thing better i can play the prototype so that will make more sense yeah that is the own screen we are cheating the history can reach the here simply clicking the stats we can reach this simple animation i just made it for this we can see he clicking this here check we can see overall here i just transaction made using phone pay as 5000 rupees if i click the calendar button sheet will be open then i can go to the month i can see the subcategories in petrol it's overall gen day wise day wise i just made 380 rupees for petrol bank that's it yeah the end uh, reach the end if we, if we give this feature to a uh, phone pay app means that will be more useful to every budget person they can uh, see uh, month wise uh, even how much they spend for a particular category that will be give more uh, sense to them uh, they, they will be more aware uh, while spending uh, upa payment to particular categories and all uh -huh. that's the main intention of this design i hope you guys clear uh, if anything else uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comment we'll see in next video uh, until then uh, signing off from arun krishnamurthy uh, bye bye Take care.